Aaron Waller and all those dynasties as well. But it's about the horse more than anything else. This is the day that a racehorse goes from good to great and most of them only get one chance. So this is their moment. This is their opportunity to become a legend in the sport. Here's Matt Hill. And the field is set. Ready, prognosis lifting. Crowd roars. They stand. Racing in the Cox Plate. Evaporate slow and almost stumbled out of the gates. Via Sistina away fairly. Royal Patronage led the race early. Pride of Jenny and Prognosis right up there. And driving up Evaporate made a line of four at the post. So Pride of Jenny steadily working across four deep on the first corner. They were followed by Mr. Brightside. Docklands the inside. Two and a half Via Sistina. Kovalika and Broadsiding last. So Royal Patronage led 1600 to go. Pride of Jenny sits outside of it for now. Prognosis a length and a quarter away, third from Evaporate, who's kept three wide. A length and a half, Mr. Brightside, Docklands via Sestina. Kovalika is second last, broadsiding last. Pride of Jenny went to the front. Bottom corner, 1,300 to go. And Pride of Jenny's put up three lengths now from Prognosis second. Royal Patronage passed by Evaporate on that corner. They were followed by Mr. Brightside, a length and a half to Docklands. Then via Sestina, next in the field, Kovalika and broadsiding at halfway. Pride of Jenny is the leader in the Cox Plate by about two and a half to Prognosis, keeping the mare in his sights. A length and three quarters away, Evaporate. Then came Royal Patronage and Mr. Brightside as they run towards the 700 metres. Via Sestina, seven off the lead at least from Docklands, Broadside in Kovalika. So it's Pride of Jenny, 600 metres to go. A length and a half to Prognosis, who's nice and close. They're two lengths in front of Via Sestina, who's coming into it. Mr. Brightside's coming with her and then came Royal Patronage Pride of Jenny grabbed by Prognosis but Via Sestina now pushes the button on the outside and goes up and takes the lead Via Sestina 300 metres to go puts up two legs Prognosis Docklands Mr Brightside and then came Royal Patronage but Via Sestina storms away with 150 to go she's four five legs in front it's going to be a cock plate round and James McDonald has victory Second prognosis, third in the race was broadsiding, Mr. Brightside next, then Docklands Kovalika, Royal Patronage, Pride of Jenny and Evaporate lasts. Put it at the top of the list, we've seen some extraordinary things here in Cox Plates. J-Mac gets a 100th Group 1 win, he wins the Cox Plate for the third consecutive year. It's the stuff of legends, Chris Waller's a genius and this mayor's a champion. And I'm standing alongside the wife of the man who's created some incredible history today. We just won the Cox Plate, baby! You better get down there, Katie, I reckon, don't you? Off you go. Richo, we have seen some amazing performances on the Cox Plate. The stuff that we say we won't see it again, do you know what? We've seen one as good as we've ever seen before. Well, Bruce, I don't want to compare her, but that was Winx-like, wasn't it? The way that she demolished Hartnell that year. And Chris Waller, could you imagine how he was feeling on Tuesday when Via Sestina dropped James McDonald and then went out of control, spinning around Mooney Valley and Chris... Um, the comment of, you're a genius, that was from Bruce, and, and I think that was a genius training performance. Gosh, I'm so happy for you. Leave me out of it. Yeah. Well, we can't leave you out of it because you had to go to plan B with this girl after Tuesday morning. We've been, yeah, we've done these things before, I guess. So, uh, thanks, James. Yeah, so... Look, I think, just forget what happened Tuesday. It's just a good horse. Yeah. I've just done my job to prove it. Yeah. There were, must have been moments, though, when she was galloping on her own on Tuesday morning that you were thinking, all the planning yeah. has gone astray. The truth is, when she got up and James got up, the rest of it didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Horse, horse and James equally, which is so important. They put the cox plates on every year. If she didn't make it, who cares? She's alive and James is alive. Yeah. And that's what it came down to. So then you had to start to change your planning. You came back Thursday morning. 
Did you just, just poke around? Yeah, we did. Um, just to get a confidence up, our, our vet down here, Matt, he, he actually floated the idea, and I thought, gee, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> and we ran with it, and um, just a great team effort from, yeah, the team in Sydney, Lizzie, Charlie, uh, all my team, Steph. Yeah, just so much support. Keep walking because we're going to cause a bit of a log jam here right behind us and that'll allow people to, to get through and you'll have a chance to go and see Mr Zhang and Yulong have invested an extraordinary amount of money in yeah. this girl. Yeah, they have and um, this is the pinnacle race, thank you. Um, yeah, and they've put a lot in and they deserve to be getting what they're getting back and yeah, it's great for the whole industry um, and the world as well. I think everybody's watching Australian racing and in your heart of hearts, you thought she could win. Did you really think she could win by that far? No, no, I didn't. I didn't think about it. Go and interview James. Well done, mate. I'm really.